go to the file menu and down to scripts and random point generator. If you've downloaded the script from the Graphic Extras website, graphicextras.com, you can then just put it here, the random point generator. I will show you actually how to get it into this menu later, but just run it. What it does, it actually, let's just run it first. It uses the settings up here. So here you can see black. So obviously I've set that before. Here's the stroke. Here's obviously uniform. You can set all these things, opacity, all those can be set. And you can of course set them later. You can always turn around and say, you know what, I want blue. So what's it done? Well, it's just generated a single line. That's all it's done. Now I'm gonna be creating a series of, not obviously just this sort of thing, but doing lots of other scripts. So I'm just gonna add them on the website and I will be adding a video, of course, associated with all of them. And you can set the fill, of course, if you want to, just make it red, obviously not so much use. But you can run it again. So you could sort of move that away and then you can just say, you know what, let's just go file, scripts, and again, random point, and you can run it again. And now you change the color. And again, you can manipulate the designs, you can do whole heaps of different things, rotate them, distort them, apply effects to them, combine them, and much, much more to create all kinds of designs. So how do I actually get it into that folder? Well, first thing to do, just go over here to your file. Now this, of course, will be different. If you're on a PC, you're gonna be program files, the location, so you go Adobe, Adobe Illustrator, etc. In this case, it's the applications folder, then Adobe Illustrator 222, presets, en underscore gb, en underscore us, etc. scripts, and you can see all the scripts here, image tracing, random point, this is what you're gonna put, the JavaScript file. It's just a JavaScript file. It's a text file, basically it's a text file with .js. That's all it says. Obviously these ones are JSX, they're just the same basically. If I click on there, you can see it will not show it in the same way, but I personally prefer it to keep it open. It's up to you, of course. I've got a JavaScript one there. So you can see exactly what's going in the thing. Nothing that's unusual. However, I will show you the actual script as well, because obviously it's gonna be a good idea. And it's, I've got it in Dreamweaver. Now it points out there's a few errors. It's not particularly, it runs perfectly okay. They are sort of, yes, not, maybe could be slightly finessed a bit more. However, I've created three variables here and you can change them. Now you can set them to, this one actually that I ran was 300. You can set it to 20. Just go up here, just change it to 20. Go here to the horizontal, make it two sets, so it just puts it right across the image. You can make it obviously the width of the document. Likewise this one, you can make it the height of the document or beyond doesn't have to be minus 300, it could be minus 2000. The reason for minus is the way the coordinate system works in Illustrator. It does it in a reverse of what I would assume, but it just does it downwards. So you have to put minus 300 if you want it to be on the artboard. Don't have to, but you put it above the artboard if you don't have that. And then you've got all this code here as well. You've just got, it's all the randomized arrays, etc. This just generates the initial part, and this is the additional point. So you can just, you don't have to have that there. You could put minus, you could put 20 there, etc. You don't have to have the variables. You can change the code, and you can just run through that, tweak things, maybe make up some additional ones for various arrays here, and then put plus there for the direction handles. So you can make it sort of curved. In fact, I will be doing a curved doodle-like one this variant a little bit later as a script. So you've got that, this is the actual script and I'm just gonna close that now, don't save and you can go back there and you've got your thing there. That's all you have to do, just run it. If you can't run it from that location, the scripting link, you don't want to, you just wanna run it from your desktop or just a folder, all you need to do is file scripts and go to other script and then you just browse for it and you just put it to like your desktop, which is just as good. And then you can then of course just run it or maybe a folder called Illustrator Scripts or something. Just create a folder that you have for your work. And then you can run it and create a variety of different designs. And of course, as I say, you can tweak it. You can make it run it for only 20 pass, 20 points. 
doesn't have to go full all of those points. So that is one of the first scripts that I'm going to be adding to the, well, I've added to the website. So please check it out, download it off the graphicextras.com. You've got any questions, please put in the comments below in the YouTube and let me know. Also, uh, is there anything you particularly want? Now, the scripting is not infinite. Is it as good as, say, um, plugin development kit? No. It's a lot easier to code than the plugin development kit. But it's not, there's a lot, also, of course, there's interfaces. I am not going to add interfaces to these, mainly because it requires a lot more exercise and effort to create a vast number of, of those, keep adding those in along with it. If I was doing it as a, obviously a set of super professional things that I was then selling on, I would be putting lovely dialogues on all these so you could add them up, change things, etc. But as it's just obviously just a freebie set on there, I'm just going to put the raw script file, which you can then edit. Please feel free to edit that script. Just change it, tweak it. If you see things you like, you want to change, maybe you want to make so it generates 15 lines in different colors. Change it. Just put a bit of code in to make it do that. And I will be doing probably scripts like that myself as well. Those sort of things. And there's... There's zillions and zillions of different commands in the scripting. Not all of them are immediately particularly obvious, what you can do with them. Some functionality that seems to be a little bit missing from what the uh, from the plugin development kit. Yeah, but it's certainly worth checking out. Anyway, hope you found this of interest. Thank you much.